Welcome to Mastering Solutions. In this problem, they tell us that John is walking along a circular garden path, and they say that he starts at the easternmost most point. So easternmost will be right here. And then he walks counterclockwise around the path. So he goes this way, and he goes all the way around until he's at the southernmost point right here. And they say, what is John's displacement? So if you remember displacement, it's a straight line from where you started down to where you stopped. So we have right here, that is the displacement we're trying to find. Now we have a circle, and so from here, the center of the circle out to here is the radius, of course, and they tell us the radius is 50 meters, but the radius is also right here too. So now we just created a right triangle, and it's a special kind of right triangle where both of the legs are the same distance. Now in the answer, they want us to tell what the magnitude and the direction is for the answer. So we'll get to that in just a second, but first let's use Pythagorean's theorem to find what the displacement is. So we have c squared is equal to a squared plus b squared, and then to isolate for c, we'll take the square root of both sides. So the square root of a squared plus the square root of b squared. And now when we plug in our values, we have the square root of 50 plus the square root of 50. And since it's a special triangle, you might have it memorized on how to find this, but we'll just plug it into the calculator because it's a little, I feel like just as easy. Okay, so 50 squared plus 50 squared gives us 50 square root two, which is 70.71. So we will call that 71 meters. So that is 71 meters. But like I said, they tell us that we have to not only have the magnitude, but also the direction. Now, in these special triangles where both of the legs are the same, we know that that's gonna be 45 degrees, but we can confirm that by using trigonometry. And so for this, we'll be using tangent because we have the opposite of the angle and the adjacent of the angle. So tangent of theta, is equal to opposite over adjacent, as we just said. To isolate theta, we take the inverse tangent of opposite over adjacent. So the inverse tangent of 50 meters over 50 meters gives us 50 over 50, or the inverse tangent of one. So inverse tangent of one gives us 45 degrees. So we know that John went a displacement of 71 meters at an angle 45 degrees southwest.